Kumudini Welfare Trust of Bengal Limited is a foundation established in the late 30s by its founder Roy Bahadur Ronada Prashad Shah. The trust is named after his mother who died at childbirth from tetanus without proper care. Kumudini is a Bengali name. The meaning of this word is sacred lotus. Our logo bears this name that cares for the education, health and environment which was the dream of our founder. He took the decision on March 1947 to transform all his business, land and firms into a trust and name it Kumudini Welfare Trust of Bengal. There was clearly mentioned that all company income will be spent for public welfare activities such as Mujapur Kumudini Hospital and other services. The welfare activities are Kumudini Hospital, Bharateshwari Homes, Women's Medical College, Nursing School and College, Trade Train School, Kumudini Handicrafts, Environmental Projects, Kumudini Hospital. It was a dream coming true for Ranada Prashad Shah. Kumudini Hospital, the first initiative of the Kumudini Welfare Trust of Bengal, came into reality in 1944. Starting with 20 beds, it has now become a modern hospital of 750 beds with its own full-fledged diagnostic facilities. Apart from the indoor and outdoor treatment facilities, the hospital has a village outreach program which makes it a unique center of excellence. Under this program, the doctors and the nurses visit the nearby villages and provide training to local people on midwifery, family planning, breastfeeding, sanitation, antenatal and postnatal care, and general health awareness. The hospital has the following special services and facilities. Prenatal checkup for pregnant mothers, nutrition monitoring and child care for children below 5 years of age, treatment of diseases including diarrhea, gynecological diseases, tuberculosis, permanent birth control facilities including vasectomy and tubectomy in addition to non-permanent birth control measures training for traditional birth attendants on how to motivate fertile couples to accept family planning measures. Kumudini provides medical services for free. Any patient can register with only 10 taka for 90 days. Over this entire period, a patient can visit the hospital and consult specialists as many times as needed. Bharateshwari Homes Creating educational opportunities for the underprivileged girls was one of Ranada's earliest dream. That dream also came true in 1944 when the Bharateshwari Homes was established. Bharateshwari Homes is a completely residential school for girls, starting from class 5 and finishing at class 12. The institution not only provides quality education, but also prepares the students as self-reliant individuals. The discipline and non-communalistic view towards a society regarding caste, class, religion and status makes the students prepared for contributing to the advancement of the nation. They prepare themselves for taking any challenge that they may face ahead. The school runs under strict discipline. There are prefix routines for each day, which everybody has to follow very carefully. The routine covers not only studying, but all activities of the day. Starting from cooking, cleaning, keeping up the institution premises, the students here learn the life skills necessary to become all-rounders or competent in all spheres of life. Bharateshwari Homes aims to deliver ideal, disciplined, honest, responsible, self-sacrificing, respectable and efficient young women. The institution dreams of a day when not a single woman will be considered a burden for the society. R.P. Shah strongly believed that only ideal mothers can provide a great nation. Kumudini Women's Medical College The founder of Kumudini always dreamt of a day when all women of the society will be educated and self-reliant. A medical college dedicated to produce female doctors was another dream of the founder. This became a reality in 2001 through the establishment of a fully residential medical college for girls. 
Alaska Medical College is an opportunity for girls to get both quality medical education and practical experience simultaneously. The doctors trained here are dedicated and responsible. They are well aware of the nobleness of their profession. Serve the nation. This is the motto the medical students are conveyed here. Kumudini has a vast experience in the field of education and health. So, these two dimensions of experience have been the basis for setting up and successfully running a quality medical college. The students here can directly associate with the patients and also play a vital role in the village outreach programs. Thus, they become doctors with a difference. Kumudini Nursing School and College Quality nursing is one of the most important prerequisites for proper medical service. Right from the beginning, Kumudini Hospital had to face the challenge of shortage of trained and quality nurses. The trust did not give up. Rather, it stepped ahead to overcome this problem by producing high-quality nurses. Thus, a nurses' training school was established where abandoned and widowed women from poor families in the village were trained to assist destitute women. The Kumudini Nursing School was established in 1973 with the objective of bringing out trained nurses who would provide professional care to the sick. The school is accredited by the Bangladesh Nursing Council and offers a four-year senior nursing course. Each year, 30 students with a minimum higher secondary level education are admitted into the course. A College of Nursing was established in September 2007. Kumudini Nursing College is the newest innovation of Kumudini Welfare Trust. The college has two tracks of nursing education leading to a degree in nursing. Track 1. Post Basic BSc in Nursing. Track 2. Post Basic BSc in Nursing. Kumudini Handicrafts. Empowering women means empowering half of the society. Bangladesh has a very strong heritage of arts and crafts, renowned worldwide. Kumudini Handicrafts runs to achieve dual objectives, promoting the crafts of Bangladesh and creating income-generating opportunities for the underprivileged women. The women working for Kumudini Handicrafts are given proper training by the authorities. The organization runs a chain to maintain quality and to increase production. The working women are in effect paid properly and have the opportunity to work at their own residences. Kumudini tries to promote the traditional crafts of Bangladesh, including the indigenous crafts. The organization always promotes the extensive use of vegetable dyes extracted from leaves, petals, barks and roots for all of its products. Throughout the country, Kumudini has more than 25,000 artisans. Kumudini Handicrafts was established in 1976. Some other donations related to Kumudini are Kumudini Women's College in Tangail established in 1943 Tibendra College in Manikganj established in 1945 First Maternity Unit in Dhaka Combined Military Hospital The trust was created by its founder with true philanthropic objectives following are some of the major objectives. To provide free and quality medical care to poor rural people. To spread the light of education amongst the women, especially disadvantaged girls. To create economic opportunities for the poor rural women to improve their status within the household and the society. The great philanthropist who deprived himself and his family members by giving away all that he had was abducted along with his only able son Bhavani Prashad Shah by the Pakistan army and their collaborators on May 7, 1971 during the Liberation War and they never returned. And in regards to women's education, even in contemporary times, the generous Roy Bahadur Ranada Prashad Shah started these works 70 years ago. Every day, about 1,000 children, women, men, elderly people are getting treatment service in Komodini Hospital. Every year, women are getting modern education who are making a large contribution to the building nation. This is how 3,000 humanitarian workers of Kumudini Welfare Trust of Bengal are working to materialize the dreams of Ranada for his mother. World humanity is being served.